Most people are stuck at level zero with perplexity. I've spent the last six months inside Perplexity's business fellow program, working closely with their senior leadership and attending over 30 events, including with tech leaders like Jensen Huang and Arvind Srinivas, the CEO of Perplexity. And I can tell you most people are using it completely wrong. They type a question, get the summary answer and feel productive, but they're missing out on the bigger system that transforms perplexity from a search bar into a true productivity and income engine. So in this video, I'll cover all four levels of perplexity. And by the time we hit level four, you will see how the pro users are using it to work faster, earn extra income on the side and build an unfair advantage. At level one, most people just type a question, grab the answer and move on. But they miss out on two key upgrades that make the answers much more reliable. First, break your query into three parts. Goal. That includes defining the goal. What do you want to achieve? Inputs. What data should perplexity use? For example, analyst nodes, market data, or a specific source on the website. And third constraints. These are boundaries example only to look at the last three months of data. This simple frame is part of a broader technique called prompt engineering. And there are many more advanced methods to get better results. And if you're interested to learn them, you can check out my video on prompt engineering, which I will show up somewhere here and I'll link it in the description. Going back, the second technique at level one is to pick the right model for the job. In my experience, Claude is great for writing and research tasks. ChatGPT is great for multi-step reasoning, complex data analysis and coding tasks, which I would also argue Claude is good at. Gemini is good for deep research and broad tasks. And Perplexity's own Sonar model is very good for fast fact retrieval from the internet. Everyone has a different experience. So what I do recommend is trying different models to see which one works best for you based on your use case. And so just by using these two methods, which is structured prompts and model choice can significantly improve the accuracy and quality of your responses. But you can still waste a lot of time at level one by starting your research from scratch every single time. Most answers will be generic because perplexity has no context of your goals, whether you're trying to make more income on the side, start a side hustle or boost productivity at work. The best way to fix this is to set up a space in perplexity where you can add custom instructions add knowledge sources not available on the internet. For example, you can build a life and money coach where you tell it about your current role, the industry you work in, your decision-making style, your risk appetite, your goals, your hobbies, habits, and family structure, and anything else you would like to share. You can also upload your personal or business data that is not available on the internet and Perplexity will use that to provide answers. You can spin up spaces for content creation, automation of workflows or a company knowledge hub. And if you go within template section of the spaces in Perplexity, there are already defined templates you can replicate and tweak for yourself. For example, a startup advisor. So at level two, you will unlock more productivity benefits by using spaces to provide context, but you can step it up a notch through two more techniques at level three, which make perplexity more of a specialist advisor. Think of it like this. You've hired a brilliant consultant, but you haven't told them which department to work in. It's time to give them a specified focus. Whether you are in the spaces or general chart queries, you can use focus mode, the world icon on the, just by the chart questionnaire. It's the toggle which allows you to choose between academic, social, finance sources, or triggered sources like GitHub, Linear, Notion. And if you go in further options, there is a bunch of new connectors like WhatsApp, Slack, Dropbox, Outlooks, and Perplexity will use those to provide answers. An interesting use case might be that it goes through your emails or Slack and gives you answers based on your own data rather than using anything from the internet. The art of the possible is unlimited here. And the second method at level three is to use deep research when you need in-depth reports with more sources, charts, and advanced reasoning over a longer period. This allows you to get better results, for example, doing market research for launching a new product. Now, this is all great, but all three levels we've covered so far still require you to manually pull requests or ask for information. Nothing is truly hands-off. What if you could set up an agent in Perplexity to work and get what you need every time without even touching it? And that's where Perplexity has two advanced features. First is tasks. You can set up automations to run on a regular cadence. To do this, you can go into your account, click on the tasks and start by giving instructions. Let's say summarize news events and announcements relating to the Apple stock. And in sources, we select finance and web as the source. And we ask it to run every week on a Monday, no expiry and notify us each time. In the models, Let's select uh, Sonar 4.5 thinking and hit save. So now every Monday, I will get a weekly update on Apple stock without touching a button. You can automate many workflows through this depending on your data sources and needs. The second feature is labs, which is my absolute favorite. Labs lets you create documents, spreadsheet, presentations, dashboards, all by using this functionality. The lab feature has access to different agents and they are triggered automatically by perplexity to 
perform complex tasks. Now, because this consumes a lot of resources, there is a limit of 50 queries of labs available per month, which should be more than sufficient for most users. I have personally never run out of this quota. And to show you what it can do, here's an example of a dashboard I made using labs. It provides core competencies and scores of top large language models without me having to go through the internet and search them one by one. Now, I had to write a strong prompt when I had to make a few tweaks to get this right, but the end result is great. Perplexity labs are at hearts uses agents, but we are only scratching the surface. AI agents are forecasted to create the next one person billionaire company according to some of the biggest names in the AI world. So if you want to clearly understand what agents are and how you can build them, you might like this video where I explain AI agents and how you can use them to earn income 24 seven.